Welcome to another Insider Special Report. I'm Jared Johnson. I'm joined by Texas Tech starting left tackle, Travis Bruffy. Travis, man, I'm going to start off with how are you feeling? I'm feeling great, 100% ready to get after on Saturday. Of course, you know why I asked you, right? It was this time last yeah. year where you, you came down ill, uh, lost all that weight, had to miss the first two games. I know we talked about this a lot, and you, you've probably had to talk about it a lot, but I mean, that was a that was obviously a big deal, a big setback for you. Uh, can you just kind of talk about the difference, obviously, and being just your weight and everything, and being ready going into the opener? Right. I mean, it was a it was a heck of a journey last year. A lot of uh, definitely, this was definitely a, a down a downtime in my life this time last year. But uh, it feels I'm feeling so much better. It's great to be back up to my the weight I want to play at around 300 pounds, and uh, you feel stronger. You feel just as agile. I feel like I can play I'm not getting driven back as much you know it's just it's, it's a great way to be at uh, last year really made me appreciate how much this game means to me it being ripped away from me for those weeks and uh, so this offseason I kind of just got after it with a different type of mindset and hopefully this uh, season y'all see that I play with one yeah and so and it's been publicized but you weigh like around 270 going to, last year is that right or am I was it even less than that what were you at last year actually in those games well uh, yeah I told Mr. Don Williams and uh and and confidence that he wouldn't put it out there but uh, uh -oh. yeah so about uh two I told everyone I was 290 coming back for Houston game and I weighed in as I stepped on the field at 268 pounds wow. which is the lightest lighter than any of the uh, U of H D linemen at the time so you can imagine it was quite the game but uh yeah, I just kept battling with it, uh, and especially during the season, it's so hard to put on weight with the practice schedule, traveling, all that kind of stuff. So uh, I took took it upon myself this off season to really kind of get my body right and back into the shape I wanted to be at. Yeah, you look bigger than I've ever seen you, yeah. That's, you know, for sure. Uh, speaking of Houston, I mean, you're from the Houston area, of course, and getting to go play at NRG Stadium again. I know, I know you've probably talked about that some, but now it's here, just days away. You're going, going there uh, back to your hometown. What's your thoughts on that? It's uh, it's really surreal, especially you know all of our games. The closest game we play is uh, four hours away, I guess, is in Dallas. So usually, um, but it's a, it's a blessing every every time to go back down to Houston and play in front of the home crowd. Uh, I have almost all my family coming and just coming to cheer us on. Uh, it's really great, especially I'm a huge Texans fan. Have been my whole life. I don't know if that's something you say. And won't hold that against you. Uh, yeah. I won't do the two Cowboys fan, but I won't hold that against oh, you. You're from yeah, Houston. Yeah. I understand. Well, yeah, since the David Carr days, I remember. Yeah, I got the David Carr. Yeah, oh, that's first ever draft pick. I remember it vividly. Uh, so, yeah, so it's great to be in that. I still call it Reliant Stadium, um, but I played there a couple times in high school, and it's just, you know, the field, it's amazing. Uh, it's a really, it's just kind of, I watched so many games play on that field, just to be able to step on that same turf is, a, is really, truly awesome. And then finally, uh, being elected the team captain, just your thoughts on that. I mean, it's quite an honor, especially, you know, as a junior. Well, you know, it's truly an honor. Anytime I get to wear the double T in any type of role, it's, it's amazing. Uh, I just wanted my teammates to know that I was truly invested in them, and I, I've tried to show that as many times as I can throughout this season, throughout my career here, is that I really care about my teammates and I care about their development on and off the field. And uh, it's, it kind of makes me happy that they recognize that and see that I support them. And uh, hopefully I hold up the standard they've set for me and they've, they've expected of me, and it's really, truly an honor, like I said. All right. Hey, Travis, thank you so much for your time, man. Thank you very much, right. sir.